Hello and welcome back to Time Flies. Now I feel I must apologise to some of you who've been following the channel for some time. I know I haven't posted in probably a couple of years. It's just been really busy. Um, I appreciate many of you commented on my last videos. I haven't responded to those. Please accept my sincere apologies. It's been a busy year. I had two daughters getting married um, and busy at work. It sounds like lame excuses, but it really has been busy. So apologies, I'm now back on it. Um, and I have a great review for you today. So um, without any further ado, let's crack on with the review. Okay, so today I have a review from the Flyer Watch Company. Their tagline is helping dreams take flight. And I think that just needs a little bit of explanation before we um, open up the watch and uh, show you this fantastic watch. Um, so the Flyer Watch Company um, was really, is founded by, by David and Andrew, who I met recently at an event, um, an aviation event. I was really just struck not only by the great watches that they were selling, but by the ethos behind those watches. And let me just explain a little bit about that. So um, the, the whole family has been involved with aviation since the year dot. And um, they really had a, had a dream to see people get involved in aviation who maybe wouldn't have the opportunity to fly, who've always wanted to, but just don't have the access or maybe there's some um, physical disability or, um, I don't know, financial barrier stopping them from flying. And um, so speaking with David, he explained to me that for every watch that the Flyer Watch Company sells, they donate 20% to the Honourable Company of Air Pilots or the Air League, uh, to their charities that are involved in helping people fly and obtain their PPL, their private pilot's licence. They also sell a watch uh, called the Aeromobility Watch or the Aerability Watch. Um, that one is produced especially for the Aerability Charity. And that charity, if you're not aware of it, um, really works with people who wouldn't normally have the opportunity or the means to get in or climb into a cockpit. Um, they hold a gala every year and they really look at getting people. Maybe it's um, just a wish they normally couldn't achieve. They have some disability or something holding them back of getting... Uh, children, adults, whoever it may be, flying and opening up the world of aviation to them. So um, from that watch, from the Aerability Watch, for every watch that they sell, um, the Fly Watch Company will donate a, a flying experience to someone who normally wouldn't get to fly. So a great ethos behind it and great customer service. So for every, when you buy a watch like this, you just put that to one side a moment, you will get a letter. Um, let's read that to you. Yeah, a letter that says... Um, we would like to personally thank you. Just to zoom in a bit on it more for you, uh, for buying a flyer watch. We truly appreciate your support and trust in our brand. We work hard to make sure your experience and the quality of your new flyer watch exceeds your expectations. Congratulations on becoming a member of the community. And there's a signature there from uh, David and Andrew. This really is a, a, a family-run business, and it shows that it's family-run. Um, just in their approach and their attitude towards it. Um, you just a couple of great guys and uh, a really, really great, um, great um, idea behind their watch company. So um, they produce, I believe they produce five different watches. Um, the one I went for is the Horizon model. Now, um, when I met David, he had the, all the watches lined up on their, their, um, their stand there at the show. And he said, OK, choose the one that you want to take away and review. I went for the Horizon. I just think it, it it's a really true, iconic-looking aviation watch. Um, now, just to be clear, uh, I do need to return the watch, so it's on loan to me to review. Um, I have been tempted to buy it. Um, I just I just really like it, like how it sits on my wrist. The only reason I'm not going to buy this one um, is because my wife would kill me. I'm sure you'd appreciate that. Um, so otherwise this would be definitely be in my collection and it would be one that I would I think probably wearing quite regularly. So without further ado, let's open up the box and do a quick review of this Flyer Watch, uh, Flyer Watch Horizon model. Okay, so here we go. So uh, actually before we, um, we look at the watch, this does come with a two year warranty. You've already, obviously already opened the box. Um, there it is on a plastic card there. Uh, there's the warranty. Um, and I need to mention as well that, that all their watches, they are free postage, um, especially I need to check, but definitely within the UK, I think it's international actually, but I need to check that, but, um, and I will put that in the, in the notes below, but a two year warranty. Um, this watch uh, retails at 
349 but if you go to their website and you sign up for the newsletter they will give you a 10% discount so that brings it down to around about 315 and that's in obviously um, in pounds uh, British pounds um, let's zoom in on this a little bit let me zoom in a bit there we go so let's move the box out of the way here there it is uh, just David Burns card just I'm mean, just a, a great guy if you get a chance to meet him, if you see him at an air show or something, do have a chat to him. Great story. Um, we haven't got time for all that right now, but um, do do take a look at their website. Again, I'll put that link in the um, down below. So this watch is it's Swiss made. It's a Swiss made watch, um, stainless steel case and bracelet. Um, you go to the the Swiss icon there on the strap. Um, few dimensions. So it's a forty two millimeter case diameter. So good. Um, I think it's hits the sweet spot, 42 millimeters. It, my wrist is seven and a half, uh, seven, seven and a quarter inches, and it just sits beautifully on there. Um, 12 millimeter thickness, so nice and thin. Um, the reason it's thin is that this is a quartz watch. It's not an automatic. Um, the movement in this is a Ronda Quartz 3540D. Um, really reliable movement. Uh, it's not sapphire crystal, it's mineral crystal, but it is sapphire coated. Um, and your width on the lugs there is 20 millimeters. So it opens up a whole range of different possibilities for straps. Now, as you, you're aware, um, if you've watched any of my past videos, I'm really not a great fan um, of the metal straps or two piece straps. I just prefer NATOs. I don't know what it is, uh, I prefer NATOs. And I actually put this on a black NATO recently and it just looks great. So if I was gonna own this watch, I would definitely put this on a plain black NATO with uh, brushed hardware. It would just, um, yeah, it, would, it just looks great as you'll see that from the pictures in a little while. Okay, so a little closer here on the face. So you have your, uh, your fixed bezel here with a tachometer on the edge, lovely plain, um, aviation inspired face here so you just got your Arabic numerals there um, picked out with uh, like a dot above each one you've got your flyer logo there to the right with a date window at the three o'clock position um, Swiss made at the bottom here I'm not sure if this has any anti-reflective coating it doesn't look like it does but Regardless of whether it does or it doesn't, the, the plain black, and it's like a, it's a deep black matte finish face with white numerals makes it super legible. You can, you know, you can see this in, in you know, you can just see it from these positions in, in any light conditions. Really nice. Um, second hand picked out is just silver. The hands there are, are white on a, on a silver background. You've got a little bit of chrome edging here, sort of set down on the um, the chronograph movement uh, faces there. Just, just, I don't know, the whole thing just sort of exudes aviation to me. It's a really simple watch and I can't really say what it is about it that, that I like so much. Just that it's, it's a real tall watch, you know, it's just that um, although this, this bezel doesn't move, that toothed edge to it, um, the engraved numbers, uh, just the way that the, the sapphire crystal, crystal sits flush to the bezel. Um, lovely brushed case, and you can see that. I mean, it's done really well, as you'd expect from a from a Swiss watch. Um, let's take the backing off here and open up the strap. You can see that. So you have the um, their logo there on the back with helping dreams take flight. Um, again, circular brushed on the back with the etched uh, etched logo, and then the strap here. Again, stainless steel strap. Has uh, how many micro adjustments? A couple of micro adjustments there. I haven't actually adjusted this strap to fit me because. Um, I do want to turn it back. I do want to scratch it in any way, so I haven't adjusted it. Um, I don't want to. Uh, you know, other people might review this one or you know they make it sold in a sale or something so I didn't want to damage it by in any way not that I would but um, yeah I'm super careful with it but yeah just a really really lovely watch so let's let's just start the chronograph here let's... okay so you've got your one tenth of a second running at the top you've got your seconds running at the bottom 
and you've got accumulated minutes there to the to the left at the um, nine o'clock position again stop it to, and then reset it there we go snaps back um, yeah I mean there's not a lot else to say about it apart from the fact you know it's got that lovely recessed um, face with your seconds counted off around the edges let me just put that down here if you look at it for a moment while I take this one off Okay, let's set that to one side and put this one on my wrist. Okay, so let's zoom out again. All right, so there you can see it on my seven and a half inch wrist. Let's get that central. Just, it just, it feels light because obviously it's um, quartz movement. There's no thickness to it. It's just such a lovely watch. Um, yeah, there it is. So I know it's a quick review. Um, I do have a few more watches that I've accumulated over the last couple of years since I last did a watch review, which I'm going to be taking a look at. But I really want to encourage you. Let's just zoom in once more on this. Um, I really want to encourage you. Do visit these guys' website. It's just a, a beautiful wa looking watch. It wears well. It exudes aviation. Not only that, as I mentioned before, 20% of whatever you purchase the watches for goes towards a really worthy cause, getting people up in the air, getting people access to aviation that wouldn't normally have it. Um, it it's a, a newly started company. So that I know I love supporting British industry. Um, you know, I know that the, one of the uh, challenges for um, for these micro brand, micro brand watches um, companies is, you know, knowing how much stock to produce. So with something like this, that um, from Citizen, that I was just wearing a moment ago, um, now they can produce just thousands of these models and they can just distribute them, you know, get them to their distributors. And, you know, you see them for sale all the time on Amazon and Facebook Marketplace and you know, wherever people, you know, resell, resell them. But they have just a huge um, way of, of shifting large amounts of stock. But with these um, micro, brand, micro brand watches, you know, they, they have to consider, um, you know, how many models they're going to produce. Um, how long are they hold the stock for? Uh, there's, there's so many challenges with it. And, and, and to, to, to put that money in, but not just to, to make money, but to support a charity, I think is a really um, noble idea. So, um, like I said, they're not paying me to say this. I just, I, I just really, really fell in love with their watches. I take a look at the other ones as well. Some of them are more, if you like, um, elegant. Um, they also do a Zulu, one called Zulu, which has a the, the black finish case. I think that one's only eight millimeters thin and really light. I know that that was one of David's um, favorites, the black one. But personally, if I was going to go for any one, um, it would be this one. Yeah, I really, really like it. Uh, do feel free to, to message me if you've got any questions. If you want to click the like button and subscribe, um, I will get back to you. I will um, answer any questions that you have. I'm on it now. Um, yeah, I hope to be posting a few more videos in the weeks to come. But any questions on this one? Sorry, I was a bit stop and start. It's been a while, um, but it's been a privilege to... to, uh, to to review this watch, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for your um, uh, your time visiting the channel and your subscriptions. I appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to reviewing more watches in the future. By the way, if you've got any requests, um, any any watches that you would particularly like to review, see reviewed, then please do let me know. Um, obviously, I have a limited budget, but I'm approaching several companies about um, opportunities to, to review their watches. I do have... Um, an A11 to uh, to review. That's by the the Prestis Watch Company. Um, A11 uh, military World War II replica watch. Again, lovely watch, but that's not for now. I'll come back to that soon. So keep your eye out for that one. Like I said, please click like uh, and subscribe below. And thanks for your time. That didn't work, did it? Let's do that again. <laughs> okay. Take care, guys. Bye.